take you through a quick tutorial on how to use my delicious texture brushes in Procreate. Um, I just need to upfront let you know <laughs> that the funny noises you hear in the background are actually my neighbor's parrot. So just excuse those. But back to business, I'm going to go ahead and create a new document. I'm just going to use a standard kind of square shape. And for the background, I'm just going to choose a color. And in this example, I'm just going to keep the illustration quite simple so that you can just get an idea of what each brush does and um, how you can apply it in your work. So with a carroty color, kind of an orangey color, I'm just going to draw the base of a carrot. And you'll notice that I'm not being perfect. I'm using the butter knife brush. Oops. Oh, I know why I was doing that. It's got an edge little opening there. Okay. And then on a new layer, I'm going to start uh, drawing the little fronds. But first, I just want to bring that down to about there. Again, using the butter knife brush, I'm just going to use a lighter color. And the butter knife brush is actually brilliant for foliage and um, botanical things like leaves and petals and things like that. So I specifically created for that purpose because I was looking for a brush that would actually achieve texture um, as I drew, but not too much. And this brush is perfect for that. So I may just bring down the size a dash and make sure we're on the right layer and then just simply draw some kind of fronds and then fill in the leaves now with with leaf making you kind of need to be quite loose with your hand and what I recommend is drawing them in two halves so with the first half you're gonna start with light pressure and then as you get to the middle, you're just going to press your pencil down to get that bulge of the leaf. And then just repeat that for the other side. And if you don't want um, so many veins in between your leaves, you can actually just go ahead and color that in if you like. But I quite like that vein in the middle. It gives it extra definition. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the same here. So you'll see that I, I've got a very loose action with my wrist because you want the, the leaves to be loose and organic looking. And the nice thing about this brush and using texture, like you'll see there, there's a little bit of a, a piece that's sticking out. It doesn't matter. It's, it's meant to look rough. It's meant to have character. And that's the joy about, um, you know, painting and drawing in a non-realistic way it's very forgiving and I know so many people struggle with that but don't I think you just you know allow yourself just to have fun and experiment because the beauty is you can either delete or erase or just move on to the next illustration so you'll see I'm moving quite fast and the more you get used to this action of drawing leaves the easier it will become Okay, so the next thing I want to do is actually remove some of this uh, orange to show, you know, all the little wrinkly bits in the carrot. So I'm going to go back to the carrot layer and I'm going to make sure that my pencil is actually on the butter knife as well because I just want clear definition and then just very lightly I'm going to make like little sort of marks. And that should be fine to show that okay so now we're going to actually start adding some texture to our carrot itself and the actual background so the first thing I actually want to do is again I'm going to use the eraser um, on top of the uh, you know carrot layer but to cheat that 
I want to give that effect that I've actually removed some of the orange but to cheat that and to be sure that I actually like it I'm not going to raise directly over the carrot layer I'm just going to use the same blue as the background and then using a brush let's see which one let's go with the coffee granules I'm just going to lightly start brushing over that And you can even do it over the leaves and because it's the same color as the background it looks like we're actually removing the color but we're not okay that looks pretty good and the next thing I want to do is actually add a, just a, a bit more um, interest here on the left hand side of the carrot so I'm gonna create a new layer and using probably like a pinky color I'm going to come down to my greasy sponge and just lightly start working. In fact, what I want to do is make a selection of that carrot. So we're going to go select, come over to our new layer and actually start painting on top of that. So now what it's done is actually created a selection just of that carrot and what it means is we won't actually be painting outside of the carrot area which is what we want okay so with just very light breezy strokes we're just gonna add some interest and i'm gonna go quite hard with my pencil here at the bottom because i want a bit more And you're just building up as you go and the beauty about any of this uh, texture work is that you can just erase whatever you don't like and the best way to do that is actually use one of the uh, brushes you know the grungy brushes for the array you can either use the greasy eraser or you can use the greasy sponge to erase in fact you can use any one of these but if you want more control you can use the eraser and you'll see it's taking away in a nice grungy kind of stippled effect so it looks organic and now we're going to actually change the uh, color mode of that I'm going to click the end and I'm going to bring this down to color burn and just bring the opacity down a dash it's not so harsh and then you've added um, an extra interest to your carrot the next thing we want to do is start working on the blue background so we need to create a new layer underneath the carrot I'm going to push that carrot above there and because I actually want the final color of the background to be this blue I'm going to change my background color to be slightly darker than the, the final color that I want so something like that and then with the, the blue of the color that I want I'm going to come over to my stamp brushes and just choose I'm just going to randomly choose one and see what that looks like yeah it looks pretty good and you'll see I hope the camera can pick this up in fact let's make this slightly darker so that you can actually see it yeah that's a bit better and then I'm just randomly literally um, you know stamping out areas with the stamps and then on top of that I'm gonna add a lighter color of the blue this just gives an extra variation let's go back to that well you have a choice we can either go an extreme color and then play with the opacity which I think I'm gonna do just to show you let's choose something like that one make it fairly large and another large area of maybe that one Oops. and then using my eraser tool because I actually want to take some of the stuff away I'm just lightly and randomly working my pencil and because the actual eraser is quite um, textured it looks organic 
and not big blocks of area and I can use the pressure of my pencil to control how much I want to remove. Okay, we're going to now change the opacity, bring that down a dash so it's not so harsh. Looks good. And now I want to um, add some shadow to the, the whole carrot area. So I'm going to create another layer and make sure it is under the carrot and the actual leaves. And using a darker color, something like that, we're going to use a brush. Let's try the rusty stove top. Makes a brilliant kind of rustic shadow effect. We just lightly, I've got it quite large, so I'm just lightly, randomly applying texture. And then for a more precision, I've made it smaller. And I'm using the pressure of my pencil a little more. Okay, that's looking pretty good. What I want to do now is just add a little bit of uh, dark areas on the edges. That just kind of frames the picture quite well. So let's bring this up a bit. Again, very light strokes. And don't be afraid if you are worried about making mistakes because as I said, you can always apply the eraser. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And then the final step is to apply kind of like speckly marks that you want, um, you know, on top of the entire illustration. This adds just that extra little bit of interest and gives it, you know, a more authentic look. So we're going to add a la another layer right on top of everything. And I'm going to choose... Hmm. You see we have quite a few options here. You can go quite um, kind of out there and choose like a pinky color. And using something like uh, the pepper grinder, you can just randomly run your brush and that gives you pink speckles. Or um, if we're not so keen on that, you could use something like, you know, the orange just to tie in with the actual carrot. And, whoops, uh, it's because I deleted my layer. which I think looks quite nice. This is the pepper grinder um, brush, so that works quite well. And if you think it's too much, we can always just bring down the opacity. And then finally, we want darker speckles. So let's use something like the breadcrumbs. And again, just random strokes here and there. And if there's the odd texture that you're not so keen on, that you're finding a bit harsh, like for example, you might not like that or that, we can easily just go ahead and erase those. And that's it. I hope that shows you um, how you can use the brushes and gives you a good idea how to approach um, you know, the texture in your own work. If you have any questions, please do feel free to pop me an email. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.